All right, YouTube, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I, uh, I'm a fan of Milwaukee tools, as you guys can probably say, but uh, I think they're the leading cutting edge company when it comes to answering the call of the tradesman, the mechanic, and the carpenter. Uh, they listen to what we need and what we want, and they build products and take feedback. Uh, I've not been paid by Milwaukee. I don't get anything free from Milwaukee. I buy everything uh, with hard-earned money. Uh, I usually buy a Milwaukee tool maybe once every other month, um, something like that. Um, this new tool that I just got, I paid $179 for it like everyone else, is their underlift light. When I first saw this advertised, my mind exploded, but uh, I'm using it right now under my F-150. It's got a magnetic base right here, it has the M12 battery, and then it's also got a magnetic arm uh, that you can stick tools to. Uh, you can stick nuts and bolts to it, but uh, the best part about this light is it's kind of... Um, like you can move it any direction you want it's you know it'll it'll turn it'll pivot any way you want to I'm gonna pull it out from under here and give you guys a better view of it um, but the main reason they bought the they, they built this light was for this reason is under the lift um, you can magnetize it to the, the underarm part of the arms and then shine your light under your truck. Now if I run this up all the way, so we, can, so we can get under here. You see, it sticks under the lift there like that, and you can manipulate this thing any which way, and it shines the light right where you need it. And it's a very bright light um, and it has different modes so like if you have that if you want to dimmer you can dim it down um, it's got three different dimming um, and like I said it's got this magnetic part here so you can throw your tools up there I'm not sure how many tools it'll hold but uh, it'll hold a, it's a pretty strong magnet and it'll hold nuts and bolts as well. The magnet on the base of this thing is pretty dang strong. I have problems sometimes getting it off of surfaces that I put it on. Um, I feel like I'm going to break it. But uh, <clears throat> not necessarily. Uh, it's called an underlift or underbody light. But you don't necessarily need to use it uh, under, under a lift like this. This thing will stick right here so you got this cross member so if you're just working off of jack stands you could literally stick this light anywhere under a car on the frame rail uh, on the underbody of a unibody car and use it to light up where you're working and it's, it's tons of light and I've always wanted something like this now I do have the Harbor Freight uh, stick lights and they work, but um, they're not as adjustable, and uh, they don't stick out like this. So, like, you can have the base of this thing out of the way, and then have the light over where you need light, and it's not in your way, and you're not knocking it off. You, you're gonna, you're gonna be hard pressed to knock this thing off of here. Like, you know, the other ones they fall off real easy. These things, <clears throat> um, these brawn stick lights. The magnets are pretty powerful on these, but it's such a small contact patch that, you know, if you, if you bump that thing, it comes right off. And that's all you have. You, you know, you can only man manipulate it so much. And, like, your light's here. Whereas, whereas this thing has such more reach and pivoting and movement and you know it's just 
it's just a better light. I've only had it for about a week and I absolutely love the thing. Now these, these little lights here still have their place. Believe me, I'm gonna still use them. But uh, this other one is just pretty, pretty killer. So if you need an undercar light that uh, is uh, hands-free and uh, very useful and uh, I don't even know what else to call it. It's just a pretty cool light. If you, if, uh, if you're into the Milwaukee M12 line, especially if you already have M12 tools, then this is a perfect addition to your toolbox. So just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. If you need a light for under your car and you're already a Milwaukee M12 addict and M18 addict like I am, then uh, what's another bare tool? Not a big deal. So thanks for watching guys and uh, keep on wrenching. We're going to try to keep these videos coming.